Okay, here we go. Start of the murder house uh, speed run. Speed running the main game. Seeing if we can't get the final uh, achievement, the final trophy unlocked. I think we have to beat it in under 25 in game minutes. IGT. In game time, we got to beat it in under 25 minutes. The video itself is going to be a little bit longer than the in game time, but at the end, I'm just going to post uh, the whole thing. Emma. Skip through this dialogue real quick. All right, you're immediately gonna wanna hug the right side of this house. Just running all the time. You're gonna wanna just be holding run the entire time. Another right, another right. There's the window, go into the window. Skip these few lines of dialogue here. You're gonna come out. Um, then you're going to go, as I'm showing you, up these stairs through the door. You're going to want to turn around, and then you're going to want to go through the door uh, to the left. Then just go straight ahead and open up the front door. Boom, step one done of the speed run. The first section of the speed run is pretty easy. Alright, so you're just going to run down, still running, run down, open the van up, get some of the luggage and just take it inside. Pretty simple stuff. The beginning is not too hard. It's when uh, the Easter Ripper comes out where things start to get a little bit more complex. Okay, so just go towards Gary and it'll drop automatically, head back outside. Excuse me, you can just hold, run. Um, get this other piece of luggage. And just quickly turn around and just sprint for the door. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. You got it, uh-huh? <laughs> okay, drop that. And I think this is a cutscene upcoming. And then most of the cutscenes, you can just skip the dialogue. Oh, no, it's not a cutscene. Okay, so you can head straight upstairs. And into this room on the left. And you're going to go to the back of the room and get the fuse. So go to the back of the room. Go to the dresser to the right drawer get the fuse turn around you can grab this pencil if you want it saves for you you don't have to grab that pencil though exit the room i just grabbed it because it's more option more pencils is more save points okay so immediately just head back through this door right here at the landing of the stairs that's not the save room. Come out into the kitchen, then head into the basement. Okay, we're gonna put the fuse inside of the fuse box. That'll get uh, the washing machine going, or the dryer, excuse me. So immediately after that's done, just head back. We're going to turn around and go through that same door to the left. And I believe this is the cutscene. Yep. So you can just skip through. Can you skip through this one? I believe you can. I don't know if I just had a brain fart or, and I wasn't skipping this dialogue here. Because I know a few of the cutscenes you can't skip. 
No, yeah, and then I did start skipping it. I spaced out there. For sure. <laughs> uh, this is my first, like, Murder House is actually the first game I've ever speed ran in my life. So I kind of spaced out and thought I was doing a regular playthrough. All right, turn around after the cutscene's over, go to the right, and then go through the red auburn looking door back into the kitchen. And then you're gonna head back down into the basement. You're gonna talk to Dana. She's gonna ask, she's gonna say that she's thirsty. So we're gonna head back upstairs and once we go upstairs to the right, there's gonna be a mug that you can grab and fill up with water. So to the right here, there's the mug, grab it, go to the sink, put it in the sink, fill it up with water, and then head directly back downstairs into the basement and give it to the lady you were talking to, Dana. Here you go. Thank you. Wait. Did Make sure to just mash, you know, whatever X button is, whatever gets the dialogue going. She'll give you a key here. And then I believe this is another cutscene too, yep. But this is, this one's interactable, so you actually have to like run through as a ghost at a certain point. A job meant to spread joy and cheer. In this one, and I kind of messed it up here. Young children until his capture and execution. I wouldn't recommend doing it like this and trying to go into first person, as told by the soul like I do by going by the drawer and then hitting the X. I wouldn't do this. I would keep it in the third person, and then when it's time, just run through that doorway because it seems to trigger it faster. I don't. I lost like 10 to 15 seconds seconds here because it wasn't triggering years later, many say he I don't know what I was doing wrong but third person will get it to trigger pretty quickly what was that Tom did you get that I apologize I honestly you thought I was gonna have to restart there I just felt an energy pass by behind me so keep it in third person and when she says the trigger words just run through the doorway Oop, excuse me hitting the mic run through the doorway real fast Okay, now that that's over, go ahead and head back upstairs. Now where are we going? Back again to the door to the left. That leads you out into the foyer front room area by the stairs. And I think, yep. Okay, so you can use that key that you got from Dana to open up the save room. And in the save room, you will need this flashlight. It's essential to the story progression, so you need to get the flashlight. And you can get this other pencil too. You can choose to save right now, or you can choose to keep going. That's up to you. And depending on if you have pencils. Okay, go ahead and equip the flashlight and turn it on. Head right back through the door you came through. And head right back down to the basement. Our door to the left. We're going to go to the right here. And we're going to pick up this crowbar sitting on the couch in the basement. And then we're going to use the crowbar on the drying, uh, the dryer, dude. Opening up the dryer gives us a doorknob. We'll be able to use this doorknob on the kitchen door, so go ahead and head back upstairs. I forgot about this step a few times and ruined my run because of it. So go ahead and immediately, just straight ahead, just go ahead and put the knob on the door. Go ahead and go through the door. 
go ahead and pick up the fire poker to the left. As you enter the room, you can equip it if you want to. Go through the red door. And you're back out into the front room. Head outside to inspect to go get the pizza, but your van is going to be messed up. So just run to the van. It'll say something about a note. Go to the front, examine the note. Exit, then just head back into the house. Pretty straightforward stuff to this point. Nothing too complicated going on. Okay, we're heading upstairs. Ignore that and go into the forest room to the left at the end of the hallway. Where are the pe the and that will trigger a cutscene. Damn it, get Okay. People talking. They saying to go find Tom. Dana Turner on location. So you you actually can't skip this part. You have to shoot this. I was mashing that skip, man. You can't skip this. Is Anthony Smith executed in the electric chair in 1985? Back from the dead and back for revenge on anyone who enters his house? Find out soon if we don't get the fuck out of here. That was pretty funny. God damn it, Dana! Cut! I want my lunch. I can't work under these conditions. Fine. Dana's not too happy. Intern girl. See if you can find where the hell Tom is. Yeah, see if you can find where Tom is. Okay, so Tom's gonna be down in the basement. So go ahead and exit out of the room. Go down the flight of stairs. Head back straight through this door into the kitchen. Turn around, hit this door to your left. That will be the basement. Go down into the basement, and it doesn't matter which way you go. Um, I went to the right here. You can go to the. You can go the other way as well, and you'll find Tom just standing in the basement. He does have a key though. So at this point, I believe the Easter Ripper start is does come out, has come out. I'm not sure um, if the cutscene with Dana triggers it here in a minute. But go ahead and exit the basement. Just be aware about the Easter Ripper from now on. Your run can get squashed because of that. Exit the basement and then into the kitchen to the door to the left. And then you can go straight upstairs, but that's going to trigger um, the Ripper to come out and kill Dana. So you're going to want to save. I was a little confused there about what I wanted to do. Um, so when you come out of the kitchen, back into that front room by the stairs that go upstairs, just go straight into the save room. You should save here, in my opinion. You don't have to. You can skip saving altogether. So if you want to skip saving, just come through the kitchen and come this way and just go straight upstairs. This is a chase scene though. So you will have to turn around pretty quickly and use that key that you just got from town. So Dana dies. And then you got to turn around really quickly and just run. I think if you walk, you're just going to get killed. So go ahead and use the key on the door. This is the attic. And you'll be safe. I've never seen the Easter Ripper come into the attic. So you might just be fully safe in here. Come in, come up to this dresser to the right top drawer. You'll get the letter opener. And I think that's all you need in here for now. I think there might be a pencil in the back too if I'm not mistaken so exit the attic the Easter Ripper is out now you can go ahead and collect the egg from Dana's head that just got killed gonna head down the stairs and we're gonna head into the basement 
so I can use the letter opener. The letter opener opens several different drawers, but you got to you have to go to the basement pretty quickly after you get it or else you'll get caught in between by the ripper. So this is pretty important to book it down into the basement as quickly as you can into this specific room here so you can get the magnet out of this drawer. And that's essential because that picks up a key that progresses the story. So you need this magnet. So go ahead and get the magnet from the drawer with the letter opener, then head back upstairs. We're at around 15 minutes fully now. Um, now, uh, I'm not sure what I was, I'm not sure what I was doing there. I got confused. I went through the door with the piano the red doors in the kitchen okay and it popped me out and I went back upstairs okay so we're going to go for the gun now in the farthest room to the left at the end of the hallway there's two dressers in here that you can use the letter opener on the dresser at the very end of the room front of the room whatever you want to call it has the gun in it And I believe that this just has a pencil. Wasting time. Look at all of the seconds wasted. I don't, you don't even have to stop at this dresser. Because, yeah, it is just a pencil. So you can stop there if you want to, but it's not necessary. You can just come into this room, grab the gun, and leave. You will need that gun, though. That's important. You can't beat the Easter Ripper without that gun. So grab the gun go ahead and leave that room come downstairs into this front room to this corner over here and use the magnet the magnets go and go ahead and give you a key that you're going to use upstairs and there look I got caught in between by the ripper so I think I'm just trying to shake the ripper here if you do get caught by the ripper just try and shake him <coughs> excuse me it's better to shake him to go to lose like 30, like 20, 30 seconds going from room to room to losing a minute and 30 from having to restart from getting killed. So shake him. You're going to want to shake him and go upstairs to this locked room. It's the only room that's still locked up here. So use the key to unlock it. And this is going to trigger a cutscene um, where Gary gets killed. You can't skip this cutscene. You can skip the little text there at the end. So immediately just come to the bed on the left hand side and grab the black light. And with the black light, you're gonna take that directly up into the attic to replace the regular light. So go ahead and just turn around and head right up the stairs to the attic after you get the black light. So come up here and just replace it. This sequence will open up a new path and a new area of the game where you see this white powder. Go ahead and just move, just hit interact a few times quickly. On um, PlayStation is just X really quick. And you'll be taken downstairs into this little thing so what I do is I go to the end here and I'll just use the letter opener immediately to grab the pistol ammo I'm not sure if this is a hundred percent needed but I would grab it just in case I went into the wrong room here while we're down here I'm trying to find rope so you're gonna wanna go to the room to the left instead of the right of the dresser so there's a dresser at the end of the hall Hit the room to the left, not the right. The room to the left will have 
this corpse here, and it'll have the uh, rope on it. Go ahead and take the rope. That's necessary for one of the death eggs. Go ahead and leave that room, and I believe that's all you need down here. Unlock the shortcut. There is a code to the piano puzzle in one of the rooms that you might need down here. And I got caught in between. You might get caught in between by the Ripper again. Like I said, if you get caught in, you know, in between rooms by the Ripper, just run. You're faster. It's better than getting killed. Go ahead and leave the basement and, ex and examine this uh, recorder so you can get the tape. Hit the door to the left to exit the kitchen so you can head back upstairs and touch this immediately and it'll go away. I made the mistake of running away from that and losing time. You're going to want to go right up to the bunny spider and just touch it. Go into this room uh, where Gary was killed and he'll be hanging to go ahead and grab the egg from Gary's stomach. Then you're going to want to go ahead and go into the next room down the hall, back towards uh, downstairs to the TV and just go ahead and put the tape in. This tape will give you access to the piano puzzle, which gives you access to a death egg, which you need all four death eggs to trigger the final fight with the Easter Ripper. You can't skip this, so go ahead and just sit tight. Get it right, get it tight. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and use the rope on the dresser here, and this will open up the bathroom. I think it's, I don't know if it's four or five tugs, three, four, it might even be six, okay, five. So it takes about five tugs, and then just enter the hole, pause, go to where you see the shiny, get the death egg. I got confused about where there's a bandage in here. It's not in here. It's in this cabinet in the left drawer. Yep. Grab those bandages. You may or may not need them depending on how good you are with the gunplay in these games. Okay, exit the room. I'm going to go ahead and go back downstairs. Go to the immediate left into the red door and this will lead you into the piano puzzle. So go ahead and you should already have this figured out by the time you get here because you're not going to want to waste time trying to figure this piano puzzle out. Trust me. There is some information on how to do this in the attic when you go downstairs into that special room. So you're going to get a special... Uh, not a special, but you're going to get an egg for doing the piano puzzle. And you should have three other ones already. So that will make four. Go ahead and place the four eggs in the Easter basket. Go ahead and go through the door that you came through initially. And I would save. Because this is the final showdown, so I would definitely save here. If you haven't saved at all, this is the spot to save. 100% the spot to save. I'm not even sure what my in-game time there was. 14 minutes and 23 seconds. But it says 24 minutes on the video. So I don't know. I'm not sure how they deduct the 10 minutes, but... Okay... Go ahead and go back into the kitchen. Excuse me. And we're going to head back into the basement. We're going to use the shortcut to go back to the... Um, so you don't have to go to the attic. You can go into the basement, take this right, go through this room, and the door will be on the right here. This is the shortcut for that weird room with the skeletons where you got the rope 
Yep. And if you're ready to go, if you're ready to face the Ripper, just go ahead straight through the door. Continue this until you see the ladder. This would be a good spot here to uh, get your bearings. If you're not great at the gunplay, go ahead and mess with that. I mean, if you're on a speed run, you, you don't really have the time for that, I guess. So once you pop out of this hole, go ahead to the right here and get the shotgun all the way into the corner. I would equip the shotgun first. It takes less shots if you do it with the shotgun and then the pistol. I emptied the pistol, had to reload, emptied it again, had to use the shotgun, it's messy. If you go to one of the doors, it'll trigger uh, the Easter Ripper. You can skip his dialogue. So just go ahead and skip his dialogue, but if you skip his dialogue, be ready. So turn around, shoot. That's what you're going to do. Go ahead a little bit, turn around, and shoot. Run, turn around, shoot. That's the strat. You got to get some space to turn around and shoot. But he he does get quick. He gets right up on you. See, I had to switch that my gun, and he got a good hit in there. He might get a hit in when you go to switch your gun when you go to reload. Just turn around and shoot. Okay, and he's dead here. So just um, wait. And a cutscene will show, and then you're in the clear. I'm pretty sure you're in the clear at this point. So my in-game time must have been like 16 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I, I wonder how they, I wonder how that specifically is. But that's it. That's the entire speed run. That's Murder House. You are done now. Um, the prologue doesn't count. Um, I hope this video helped you if you are trying to speedrun the game. I love Murder House, one of my favorite games. Um, Puppet Combo is amazing. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.